Hey guys, I'm back. We have another Banner Lord tutorial video. This is going to be lesson number four adding custom sprites. As you see right here, I have on the screen, I have 18 brand new cultural sprites that I want to add to the game and replace the ones I currently have. Uh, what you need to know, you want to have them named exactly the same way you do your cultures in the game lowercase or however you got them that's what you want to have. and if you're replacing native sprites you want to have the native culture name you see my northman's going to be batania azurai from my dornish stuff like that so that's how you want to have it set up and you want to have a roughly this size these are around 373 uh, by 665 so around this size so it fits in the little box so that's what you need to do to have these culture sprites. What we want to do is figure out where we need to put them next. So you want to go into your Bannerlord directory, go into your not modules folder. You want to go into your uh, actual module that you want to put them in. And from here, you want to go into your GUI folder. Once you get in your GUI folder, you're going to uh, want to, I'm not sure if it's already in here or not, but you want to have a folder named Sprite Parts. You click into your Sprites Parts folder inside your sprite sparks folder you want to have the folder named ui underscore rot you also need to have this config uh, folder too uh, this config file too so let's just look in here and i'll just show you what it looks like you want to have this in here so it automatically loads your sprite for you it's just a simple little config it says sprites character uh, uh, sprite character category name ui underscore rot always load and that's that there you go you don't have this little convict file in here also so we'll go ahead and get out of that and inside once you got your ui underscore name it whatever you want to it's just gotta be ui underscore whatever you want to name it so there you go once you go inside this folder this is where i just put i put my sprites all in here and I put them two places to be sure. So, I mean, it hasn't affected me that they're two places. But what I'll do is I'll go ahead and get my, go to my custom brand new ones. Let's go ahead and copy these things. And we're going to paste them right in here in both places. So, I'm going to go in here and just paste these. Replace these 18 files. So, there I just replaced them. And I also have inside my UI underscore ROT folder, I have a character creation folder too. So, um. I'm going to put them inside here also. And inside there, I have a culture folder. So inside there. So I'm going to replace these also. This may be just double. I, I probably don't need one or the other. But uh, we're going to replace these, these 18 too, just to have them in two different places. So uh, I really don't have the time to figure out what, you know, I don't want to sit here and experiment with it. Because what works, works for me. And these little pictures don't take up really that much space. So I'm not really not worried about it. So that's what all you need to do as far as where you need to put your initially put your sprites. So the next thing now that you've got everything in your GUI folder, you're going to need to make actual sprite sheets. So to make your sprite sheets, you want to go all the way back out to, to your Bannerlord directory. You want to go into your bin folder, go into your Win64 shipping with editor and scroll all the way down to you find your... Um, Where's it at? Sprite sheet. Uh, it's called Sprite Sheet Generator. It's somewhere down here. Here it is. It's Tail War Worlds. It's the application Tail Worlds Two Dimensional Sprite Sheet Generator. You want to click on this folder and run it. Okay. It just takes a second. It started, and when it's done, it'll give you this little enter prompt, and it'll tell you if it's completed. Okay. It's it's generated a one sprite sheet and two. So both of my sprite sheets are now generated. It's two of them. It says completed sprites below generator finished successfully. Press any key to exit. You can just hit enter at this point. Boom, we did it. Now the next thing you want to do is you still, now that you have your sprite sheets generated, now you need to go into your actual mod tools and import them into the mod into the actual banner load because they still need to be made a TPAC. So uh, let's go ahead and go into our mod tools now. Okay, once we're into the mod tools, you go into your editor just like always. And what you want to do is go into your resource browser. Go into your actual folder that you put your 
of act the sprites in click into your RT content you want to then go into your assets folder now you, you want to go into your gauntlet UI folder and now that you're in here you want to scan scan or well uh, scan for new assets okay so I got to do something a little bit different since this would be all you would have to do at this point was scan and then import them but since I remember replacing some that are already made what I need to do now is I need to actually do do one little extra step and you got to have the mod tools open in order for it to copy over so all I'm gonna do is is I'm gonna go into back into my banner Lord folder I'm gonna go into my modules I'm gonna go into my ROT content I'm gonna go into my asset sources now I should have it into my gauntlet GUI now I have my two brand new sprite sheets I just want to copy them let's just paste them right here okay so if you came in here and you hit this scan for new resources and brought your two brand new once you brought your two your uh, sprite sheets into the modding tools and they're in your appropriate folder it would make a t-pack for them and you're ready to go that's pretty much all you have to do what we're going to do now is we're going to see if we got our new sprites in the actual game so we're going to load the game okay with the success check it out we got brand new we got some brand new graphics for realm of thrones now brand new westerlands ironborn Asosi, dornish dothraki northman discard dragonstone veil vale, reach riverman stormlander crownlander night's watch free houses free folk norvosi and sar nori so it was a success pretty easy so uh there we go we got him in there uh that's pretty much all we got i got for you today we'll be back soon with a new, another tutorial thank you guys for watching till next time